Leiden at night. I just picked up a large bag for traveling. An army bag for clothes. Plunjezak is what they call it in Dutch. I think it will be perfect. Take all the stuff with me. I'm again taking too much. <laughs> Besides my travel bag, backpack, and a, I used to take a small bag with me, but now a big one. Okay, that's it for now. Bye. By the way, there's football, and I thought it's the beginning of the evening already. How oh, no traffic is there? It's weird. And then later, oh wait a minute, lots of people cheering. Football. By the way, this is the Safe Ride 40 which has an excellent light distribution, it just hasn't got enough light at the top to, to light up the road really far and such as it that it overpowers street lights. The downside of a low output light is that street lights can overpower it too much, which means it's hard to see potholes, bad patches in the road, things like that. Okay. Almost out of Leiden. Nice evening, nice and warm, fairly warm. Yeah, you can see the traffic signs lighting up from the Safe Ride 40, or Safe Ride 40, Axendo 40. Okay, that's it for now, bye. This is the Axendo 40, unlit road. Yeah, in reality, I see a lot more, not just yeah, the sky is not dark, completely dark. Lights, lights up much more. And I can see farther with it and I see it lit up here on the phone screen. But it's uh, really good on unlit roads. I just need more, need more lights at the top, so far away. For, for fast riding it's not really suited. Anyway, that's it for now. Soon I'll test the brick from Busch & Müller. Possibly the only good one from Busch & Müller. Only good light. In terms of light distribution, all the others are just crap. Okay, that's it for now. Bye.